I stand before you today, bearing witness to a tale of faith, struggle, and resistance. A story that has been edged into the fabric of our history, yet often overlooked in the annals of time. This is the story of me, a man whose courage ignited a flame of hope in the hearts of my people. I was born in the humble town of Lukban, Tayabas, a time when our people, my people, were trapped with the confines of oppression. The Spanish colonizers imposed their will upon us, forcing us to abandon our traditions and beliefs. But there was one man who dared to challenge the chains of subjugation, a man who would become a beacon of resistance, and that is me. From a young age, I witnessed the suffering of my people. I saw how our spirits were broken, how our traditions were trampled upon. It was then that I made a solemn promise to myself to rise against the tyranny that engulfed our land. I, a devout Catholic, sought solace in my faith, but I yearned for a connection that transcended the established dogma. I delved deep into the teachings of Christ, searching for the essence of liberation, and I found it. I discovered a profound truth that God's love and grace were not reserved for a select few but for all of humanity. With this revelation, I founded the Cofragia de San Jose, an order that welcomed all, regardless of social standing or ethnicity. I believe in the power of unity, in the strength that comes from embracing diversity. I became a spiritual leader, guiding my followers towards a future where faith and freedom intertwine. But as with any revolutionary, Resistance did not come without a price. The Spanish authorities saw my influence as a threat, a challenge to their dominion. They labeled me as a heretic, an enemy of the church. And so, they hunted me relentlessly, determined to extinguish the flame of hope I had ignited. On the fateful day of November 4, 1841, I was captured and subjected to a sham trial. My unwavering spirit remained unbroken even in the face of impending doom. My final words echo through the halls of injustice, resounding in the hearts of those who heard me. I die innocent. Long live religion, long live freedom. Today, I will not be remembered as a mere rebel, but as a visionary for, for who fought for the emancipation of my people. My legacy lives on in the hearts of those who dare to challenge oppression. Who dare to dream of a world where faith and freedom walk hand in hand? So my friends, let my story serve as a reminder. A reminder that the quest for justice is never in vain. May my legacy inspire you to question, to challenge, and to seek the truth. For doing so, we honor the struggles of our past and pave the way for a brighter tomorrow.